For our writing lesson today, our learning intention is I am learning to write a narrative in the style of a creation story. And today we will be looking at dream time stories. So our success criteria is I can explain the purpose of a dreaming story and I can identify the lesson that was in the dream time story. So what is the dreaming? Indigenous Australians have the longest surviving cultural history on earth. It is between 50,000 and 60,000 years old. The Aboriginal dreaming means to see and understand the law. It is the way that the Indigenous Australians pass on important knowledge, cultural values and belief systems to future generations. The dreaming also refers to the creation period during which the Aboriginal ancestors created the land and the animals. The telling of the dreaming is done using several methods, including song, dance, painting and storytelling. In many stories of the dreaming, the Aboriginal ancestors returned to earth in human form. They created the animals, plants, rocks and other landforms. Once the ancestors' spirits created the world, they transformed into trees, the stars, the rocks, watering holes, or other objects of the land and sky. The ancestors stayed in these sacred sites at the end of the dreaming, making it continuous and never ending, and always linking the past and the present and the people and the land. The protocols for social behaviour and consequences including discipline are also told through dreaming stories. The dreaming is an important part of the Aboriginal culture. It is the way the origins and responsibilities of the Aboriginal people are communicated through generations. Can you think of any Dreamtime stories that you've already heard? Let's listen while I read to you a Dreamtime story. It's called How the Birds Got Their Colours. Long, long ago in the Dreamtime when all of the land and the animals were being created, all the birds were black in colour. They did not have any bright or fancy colours on their feathers. They were all just one colour. Until one day a little bird flew around looking for food. He flew close, close to a tree and landed on a big sharp branch. It cut deep into his foot and made him very, very sick. For days and days, the little bird was in so much pain. He lay on the ground with a big swollen foot. It kept getting more swollen and more painful. He was dying. Soon after this, all of his friends came to see if they could help. They all gathered around the sick little bird, wondering what they could do to save him. All except for one bird, the crow. The crow just wandered back and forth, not doing anything to help. Then suddenly, a parrot rushed forward towards the sick little bird. With her very sharp and pointy beak, the parrot burst the little bird's swollen foot. Many different colours rushed out and splashed all over the parrot. There were reds, greens, blues, yellows and all the other colours of the rainbow. 
The colours also splashed onto the other birds. Some were red, some were blue, some were brown and some were yellow. Some birds were lucky and even got spots and stripes too. All of the birds were happy and excited, except for the crow, who was standing far away from them all. Crow didn't get any colours at all. The sick little bird soon became better. He thanked the parrot for helping him with his swollen foot and then flew away. And that is how the birds got their colours. So what was the main message or lesson in this story? Let's work through the different parts of the story so we can work out together what the message or the lesson was. So what are the parts we need for a good story? Let's have a look. We have title. We have orientation. That's what the story is about. We need to have characters. We need to have a setting. That's where the story takes place. And of course, all stories have a beginning, middle and end. These creation stories or dreamtime stories have a lesson. I wonder if you've worked out what it was. So let's see if we can match the component cards, which there's one featured here saying title, to the cards in the story. Can you remember what the title of the story was? That's right. It's about how the birds got their colours. Great job. What about the characters? Can you remember who the characters were? Here's a picture to help you. Great job. The characters in this story were the birds. So what was the setting? The setting is where the story takes place. Did it take place at the pool? No. Did it take place at the beach? No, it didn't. It took place in the Australian outback, the land. What about the orientation? That is what the story is all about. Here's a clue for you. Well done. The story is about how the birds got their colours. Do you know what happened at the beginning of the story? Here's a little picture to help you. So in the beginning of the story, all of the birds were black. Hmm. Can you remember what happened in the middle of the story? Here's a picture to help you. That's right. The bird hurt his foot and the other bird didn't know how to help him. And there was one bird that didn't care at all. And that was the crow. He didn't do anything to help, did he? So what happened at the very end of this story? That's right. The birds got their colours. But there's one bird that didn't. So the parrot helped the bird that was hurt by bursting his swollen foot and all of the colours came out and covered all of the birds, except for that pesky crow. So the lesson, what is the lesson that you learnt from this story? It should be the main message that you found. Let me give you a clue. 
the book is about or the story is about how the birds got their colors but the lesson is to be kind to others because you will get benefits one way or another just like the birds got their colors but when we're not kind to other people and other things maybe we won't get colors either so in your books today here is what we are going to do everyone is going to write down what is a dream time story and I need you to answer what you think a dream time story is remember there's some information on the slides earlier everyone will be able to draw a picture about the dream time story that we looked at today and that is exactly all that I want blue group to do red group I would like you to write down what the title of the dreams time story was that we read and then you can draw a picture about what we looked at today yellow group will also write the title and then I want you to think about the lesson or the main message that you found out from this dream time story when you have done that you can also draw your picture that matches the dream time story that we looked at today and this is the same for the green group now green group I will be expecting that you'll be using your punctuation I will be wanting to see that you've used adjectives yellow group I think you can try and do that too it's like a bit of a challenge for you as well don't forget to write your date and IAL at the very top of your page so that I can see which lesson it is that you are working on when you have done all of that you'll submit a photo just of your work to the portfolio in class dojo have fun guys let's review our success criteria for this lesson I can explain the purpose of a dreaming story and I can identify the lesson that was in the dream time story how did you go today I'm sure you did fabulous